Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rafaela. I do beauty, fashion, lifestyle and vlogs. Um, if you don't want to miss that, please make sure to subscribe. For today's video, I'm going to do a uh, trying Primark makeup. It's pretty much a full face of Primark makeup besides powder, highlighter and concealer. So if you like to see how I created this look, just keep on watching. Now that the hair is out of my face, I'm going to start by priming. And I'm going to use the PS Prep, Prep and Perfect Prime Water Prep Skin for Makeup Application, Hydrating and Refreshing with Caffeine. If I'm being honest, I already tried this before filming this video because I just couldn't wait. Um, and I really, really like this. I don't know if I was having like a super good makeup day um, or skin day, but I really think this helped my foundation stay on and stay on looking good. By the way, if you hear this annoying noise and you see my hair flying around, it's because I have the fan on because it's so hot today and I was melting and it's impossible to be here without the fan on. So yeah, I apologize about that. By the way, I'm also using my Primark shirt. Um, this wasn't on purpose actually. It's from Stranger Things, so yeah. Waiting for Billy. I love this. For foundation, I'm going to use my PS Perfect Color Perfect Finish foundation in the shade Ivory. I'm going to use my Primark sponge. I got two of these for 180. I've tried this before. I really like this and it's insane that two makeup sponges for 180. I like this better because I just prefer this shape, but still they are so good. They don't last the longest, but still, for the price, what else can you ask for? Foundation, it's done. Um, I don't like to apply a lot around the nose because it's the time of the year and I'm allergic to good weather, basically, so it's pointless to put any foundation or a lot of product on my nose because it's going to be gone in like an hour so yeah since i don't have concealer they had one that it looked good and it looked like my shade but i just don't need another concealer so i just didn't want to spend money on it i'm just gonna use my normal Concealer that I use every single day because I know I like it. So I'm going to see how everything goes on top of it Okay, so I really wanted to try their powder, but they didn't have any the only powder they had was foundation powder like those compact foundations and I don't want a foundation I wanted just normal, regular, hopefully translucent, pow translucent powder um, but they didn't add any at all so I'm just going to use my regular one which is the Kiko Invisible Touch and I'll be right back okay moving on I'm going to try the PS Bronze Glow Matte Bronzer Powder it was 1 euro and 50 and it looks like this. It's slightly more orange than I'm used to, but I've also used more orangey bronzers before than this one, so I think color-wise it's going to be fine. Now let's see how it blends and looks on the skin. This is super, super orangey. It's not my favorite shade. I would like it to be a little bit less warm and more less just orange <laughs> um, but still for one euro it's blending super nicely it's super pigmented so if you want to try this be careful because a little goes a long way just apply in all the places that I normally apply my cheekbones my forehead I'm going to use my powder brush to blend everything because it just needs to be a little bit less harsh 
Um, I don't know if it's because I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder, but it doesn't seem very blended. In real life it looks fine, I don't know. Okay, so for blush, I got this PS Blush High Pigment Blusher in the shade Desire. Looks like this. Ooh, that's cute! Ooh, I like it. And I already put way too much, but it's fine. I'm not going anywhere, so who cares? Oh, I really like this and I really like the shade. I just feel like I look a little bit drunk maybe, but healthy. So far, so good. I don't have eyeliner, so I'm just going to use my Everyday Catrice or Essence one. Still don't know which one it is, but it's just a pinky natural highlighter. This is done, but before I do my eyes, I'm going to use my prime water again. And I know this is a prime water made to prime, but I just like to apply it when my base is done just to melt everything and I don't know if it actually does anything but I just like it so I do it you're closer because it's time to do my eyes and I'm going to start by using a little bit of this bronzer and put it all over my face I do this with pretty much any look I do because I just think it ties everything so that's why and i'm going to blend everything to be just super fluffy by the way i started watching a new it's not new it already has three seasons but it's new for me series on netflix it's called the sinner and the first season it's with jessica Beal, jennifer Beal, jessica Beal. um and I'm already on the second season I'm loving it like no joke it is amazing if you like crime, mystery, thriller type of series I strongly suggest to watch it because I'm just I'm loving it and a little bit on the lower lash line too if you've been watching my videos you know I love Jordan Lipscomb videos every single makeup look she does it's gorgeous and on her Primark video she used this Floral Days eyeshadow from Primark in the shade Bluebell and I just had to try it because it is definitely one of my favorite makeup looks I've ever seen on YouTube so I just had to try this it's such a beautiful shade and I don't have any other eyeshadow like this I'm going to use this flat but somehow fluffy brush from Primark and just use it to pat the eyeshadow on my eyelid I think it would be better if I used some type of sticky base to put the eyeshadow on it it's a pastel color and they tend to be not super pigmented and more chalky so, so far it's pretty good, I'd say. Not the best eyeshadow I've ever tried, but still for a shade like this, it's good. And this is not a good angle for me, I'm sorry. But this is the only place I can put you in. It does have a lot of fallout, but it's super easy to clean. Moving on, I don't have a liquid liner. I've tried their liquid liner before and I was allergic to it. So I'm not going to use it and I don't even have it anymore. I threw it away because it just it burned my eyes. So I'm just going to use my regular black shadow and do my eyeliner. In the corner, I'm going to use my I don't even know if it's going to look good, but this is the only sparkly eyeshadow I have from Primark, so I'm going to use this. This is my liquid foil metallic eyeshadow, and I'm going to put it on my inner corners. I'm going to blend it with my finger so it doesn't look super harsh. It isn't awful. Okay, okay. 
I was expecting to look worse because not my favorite color combination. Moving on, I'm going to type line using this PS eyeliner in the shade um, dark brown. It came with a lighter brown. Moving on, I'm going to use my PS Amplified False Lash Mascara. So I'm just going to curl my eyelashes before and then I'm going to apply it. The mascara is not doing the most, but I think it actually looks fine for 1 euro and 50. Um, it's very basic, it's not giving me a lot of lengthening, it's not really holding my curl, but it's giving me a little bit of volume, which I like, and I'm running out of battery. What a great thing! I'll be right back. So I'm back and I already applied mascara while the camera was charging a little bit and now I'm going to be attempting to put on lashes these are the PS Full Look False Lashes with Glue they look super fluffy, they look very natural and the lash band looks very thin and nice so yeah, let's try to put this on I seriously admire people that just put lashes every single day because my heart is pounding I think I did it I can't believe but I think I did it now I'm going to put the other one off camera because it's going to take a while okay so somehow I managed to put the two lashes this one um, the inner corner isn't really where it should be and they are feeling a little bit weird but that's because I'm not used to have false lashes on but yeah, I'm quite proud of myself so moving on to brows, I have this PS Define brow gel that I use every single day I really love this but I normally use my Essence brow pencil I will try to use my PS eyeliner in the shade lighter brown I actually don't know the name of this shade but it came with a dark brown this is a slightly lighter one as you can tell and hopefully if I do very light strokes I will be able to do my brows without looking crazy so yeah okay, very lightly okay um, this is definitely not my color I'm just going to use the little spoolie that came with my Essence Brow Pencil maybe if I clean them with some concealer but I should have thought about that before doing my face I'm just... I'm just going to let them be like this um, ok, so next I'm going to use my PS Define Brow Gel I think this is the best I can do for my eyebrows so let's move on and um, I think this is the last step so I have two lipsticks from Primark. I have the Lustre, Lustre, Lustre. That's, that's a weird word. Lipstick in the shade Cream Rose, Prime Rose. By the way, this was one euro and fifty. I think they still sell it. But since I don't think this is going to suit this look, I also have the PS Lustre. Also, I think it's the name, same name, lipstick in the shade Latte it was 50 cents I'm really excited about this lipstick because I have a lot of nudes and a lot of pinks but I don't have like a truly nude nude and this is perfect the feeling, you can tell that it's a very cheap lipstick but still it's a very cute nude it feels very slippery so this is the final look I have to say the brows are a little bit bolder than I'm used to but I'm pretty happy with this makeup look I don't know, I think it looks super cute with the um, Stranger Things shirt final thoughts I really really like everything the lipstick is a little bit cheap feeling but it was 50 cents so 
give me more once again my battery is dying and i still have to film the intro so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to like it and subscribe if you like to see more and yeah see you on my next one bye